up to Greg Tepper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the Fox Sports Southwest Studios with your instant reaction to the regional finals of the Texas high school football playoffs. And look, I know what I said. I could tell you about the 6A and 5A games. There were some. Uh, Denton Ryan beat Frisco Lone Star and Javian Sanders pulled in one of the most ridiculous catches you'll ever see. But I think all eyes tonight were on 4A and below in the playoffs. So here's what I'm going to do. I don't have a ton of time because i got to get on High School Scoreboard Live coming up here in just a few minutes. But I want to give you my instant reaction. I'm going to go class by class. I'm going to pick out one, maybe two results from each one and tell you what I think. So I'm on TexasFootball.com slash scores. I'm going to go bracket by bracket all the way down. Let's start. 4A Division One. What an unbelievable job that Chris Cochran has done at Lindale. Simply unbelievable. Remarkable. Uh, and they beat Kilgore 56-42. to The offense is humming. Jordan Jenkins has been ridiculous. They are through to the state semifinals. Um, just amazing. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I mean, I, 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 there's just not words for me to say. Amazing. The job that Chris Cochran has done there. They are through to the state semifinals. Uh, and then Canyon. How about Canyon? That defense holding down a high-powered Springtown attack to make it to the state semifinals themselves. 4A Division 2. Um... The, the, the thriller of the night was Graham over Salina as they come back and stun the Bobcats uh, there at Globe Life Park in Arlington in a fantastic win. I love this Graham team. I think this Graham team's a lot of fun. they got a great balanced offense with Hunter Lanham and Daniel Robertson. I think that their defense is really starting to peak at the right time. Uh, fantastic win for them where they will go through and they will take on uh, Gilmer, who beats uh, Caddo Mills in the Region 2 final. Um, Caddo Mills just, I think, just ran out a little bit of magic, uh, but great win for Gilmer there through the region to the state semifinals. Uh, the other side of the bracket, Carthage beats China Spring. Uh, again, I think China Spring kind of ran out of magic, and I'll tell you that Carthage 52 14 is a statement, man. That is a straight up statement. A fantastic win for them. Uh, and uh, Wimberley takes down Geronimo Navarro. Matthew Tippy playing outstanding football right now. Really like that quarterback. Uh, Doug Warren's squad playing with a, playing on a mission. I guess I'm just p- t- talking about every game now because I've already done it. Okay, 3 Division 1. Uh, we'll start in Region uh, 2. One of the shockers of the night, Mount Vernon takes down Malakoff 37 34. Some heroics from quarterback Brock Neller. He has been fantastic. Uh, they will get Jim Ned, who took down Pilot Point. I I believe that was that was last night. So it'll be Jim Ned and Mount Vernon in the state semifinal. On the other side of the bracket, the Lano Yellow Jackets, the Fight Nashley Pickles, are through to the state semifinal and a a thrilling come from behind win over district rival Lago Vista. Uh, fantastic uh, as Lano is through to the state semifinals where they will draw. Hallettsville, as Hallettsville comes back and beats Columbus. Another big night from Jonathan Brooks. Uh, he was uh, really impactful. He had a punt return for a touchdown that really turned the tide of this game. And yeah, so it's going to be Hallettsville and Lano for spot at AT&T Stadium. 3A Division Two Canadian beats uh, Childress. Uh, not necessarily a surprise. Really kind of followed the same beats as the first game. Children took a little bit of an early lead and the Canadian exploded. So we get Canadian versus Gunner part 7 million. Uh, and that'll just be, I don't need to tell you, that game's going to be great. It's always great. Canadian and Gunner is always great. There's that. Okay. Other side of the bracket. Uh, Wascom stuns Elysian Fields 44-41 to to win the Region 3 final. Uh, a wild back and forth affair. Uh, between these two. Tons of speed on the field. Wascom's offense is really impressive. I like Wascom's offense. That They've got a lot of ways to beat you. If you go back to when they played in those title games, they were really reliant on the run. If you remember the, the great June Bug Johnson, uh, they are a lot more multiple. And I love this Wascom team. I think they're a lot of fun. They will get the Franklin Lions, who uh, went up early. I believe Buffalo pulled even with them in a district in a district rematch, and then Franklin pulled away and ends up winning 56-33. You want to talk about a physical, fun, run first, run heavy semifinal. Wascom and Franklin will be a lot of fun. And by the way, a rematch of that 2015 title game. Ha ha! All right, let's go to 2A Division One. Uh, look, let's let's go. We'll go Region One through Region Four. Region One. Post beats Cisco 33-0. <laughs> in another virtuoso defensive performance from the bold gold. I mean, holy cow. Cisco's offense had been fantastic. They shut them out. The offense took a little bit of time to get going, but once they got there, it was fantastic. And they will get another team whose defense has been ridiculous, Crawford. 48-0 over Bosqueville. They shut down that bo- that high-powered Bosqueville attack. Uh, Crawford under first-year first year coach Greg Jacobs. I mean, that something's got to give, right? 
Bosqueville, or rather Crawford versus uh, of, uh, of Crawford versus Post. I mean, somebody's got to score, right? Right? Those defenses have been ridiculous. Other side of the bracket, Timpson win, wins that wide open Region 3. They were kind of the favorite to come out of Region 3. They pull it out. They beat Beckville 55-14. Uh, fell behind early in this game, but then Timpson hit the Jets. Uh, fantastic year for Beckville. We talked a lot about them. An unbelievable year for Cody Ross and those Bearcats. But Timpson, Kerry Thurwanger's Bears uh, with uh, one of the most dynamic freshmen in the state and Terry Bussey. They are through to the state semifinals where they will get the Shiner Comanches. Shiner beats Refurio 24-13 in the matinee at uh, the Alamo Dome. I watched uh, all of this game, and uh, the toughness from Shiner, the running game that they have, so many different ways to beat you, whether it's Zane Rhodes, whether it's Doug Brooks, Dalton Brooks, the running, uh, the quarterback, Ty Palmer. They have so many ways to beat you up front. Their offensive line really plowed the road for them, uh, and the defense, the defense, once again, just sensational. Uh, just shutting down Refurio. And um, look, Refurio deserves a lot of credit. This was a fantastic game. It lived up to the hype. But in the end, Shiner gets some revenge, gets some redemption there through the state semifinal. Timpson and Shiner. Four great defenses. Post, Post, Crawford, Timpson, and Shiner. Four outstanding defenses in the 2A Division I semifinals. To 2A Division II we go. Uh, region 1 was bu- 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 Wellington and McCamey. McCamey jumped out huge in this game. I want to say they were up like 18 nothing, Something like that. Wellington storms back behind a huge game from Mark Ramirez. They are through to the state semifinal where they will get... What's the other 2A Division 2 semifinal? I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting. Hold on. Greg's going to look at another thing. I'm singing a song so you don't hold me to. Not knowing who is doing this game. Here we go. They're going to take on Winthorst. Ha! Winthorst, who beat Munster in the Region 2 final. Uh, a, a, a gutty uh, defense first win for Mon- uh, Winthorst. It was on Thursday night. I'm sorry. But I'm textfootball.com slash scores sorted by day. I'm sorry. Winthorst will take on Wellington in the state semifinal. On the other side of the bracket, Mart uh, takes down Ten Hall. This is the closest game Mart's played all year. I believe, uh, and and they won fifty four to twenty three. Uh, the twenty three points is is impressive from Tenhall. We knew that Tenhall probably was. I mean, depending on them, or maybe, yeah. I mean, probably Tenhall was probably the biggest threat uh, to Mart within their own uh, region. And and March rolled past them. Roger Freeman was ridiculous in this game. Once again, they will get. Another game with Fall City. Man, Mark Kiroff, man, he knows what he's doing. They take down Cristoval, 27-18. to 18. Really impressive game there from, uh, from, from Fall City. That was a high-powered Cristoval attack, and they were able to hold them down. Uh, the Beavers and the, and the Panthers of Mart will once again go at it in the state semifinal. To the six-man ranks where we did punch our first two tickets to AT&T Stadium tonight. The 1A Division II state championship game going down 11 a.m. 11 a.m., I think. Uh, Wednesday, uh, December 16th, is that right? December 16th, will feature the Balmeray Bears, who come back from a, a deficit against Groom and end up beating them 44-38. Uh, to 38. Vance Jones has done it again, the wizard of the six-man game. He is taking his team back to AT&T Stadium. Well, there we'll get the defending 1A Division II state champs, the nine-time state champion, Richland Springs Coyotes, who uh, survive a late surge from Strawn to hold on for a 59-56 win. They will go for... UIL record breaking title number 10 at AT&T Stadium Wednesday after or Wednesday morning. Okay, that's every game. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. I'm sorry. Uh, if, if, if I sold you a bill of goods off the top, I'm sorry. We will have complete coverage, of course, at TexasFootball.com of all things Texas football. And remember, next week, the 6A and 5A playoffs get going. We can't wait. TexasFootball.com. I love you. Bye.